It's been a long time coming, 10 years as champion, WBO champion, obviously it was a great night against Jeff Lacey two years ago, winning the IBF title. But uh, obviously Mikkel Kessler, you know, a tremendous fighter, probably the, the best opponent I've faced. So to add the WBC and WBA titles, uh, also the as ring champion is, is amazing. You know, 36 in March and uh, to be finally undisputed champion is, is brilliant. But Joe, what is it, 10 years now, 21 defenses of that title. What is it that gets you up each morning, gets you into the gym, gets you working and gets you wanting to take on another fight? A challenge, you know, just, just uh, a big challenge, you know. Um, since the Lacey fight, you know, I've had two fights that I couldn't really get up for, to be honest. You know, I've boxed in 25 years and it uh, takes a lot to motivate, to motivate me these days. So I, I really wanted the Mikkel Kessler fight. This wasn't a fight that was put on to me, it's a fight I've asked for. It's the most difficult fight I could possibly um, get at this time against a, a, a very strong young champion. And um, I wanted to, to show the world what I'm, what I'm all about. And uh, the, the better the opponent, the better I perform. And I, I've showed that throughout my career. And that was the case of Saturday. You know, I had to dig deep. He caught me some excellent shots. He stunned me a few times, especially in the fourth round. But, but Joe, uh, I think I showed... Joe, the work well, you go uh, through is, you know, it's barbaric. It's, it's gruesome. Uh, you know, in Wales, you are, are gods to the people of Wales because of what you have achieved. But somehow, you don't seem to get credit in Britain and in the world. Um, I think things have changed slightly now. I think that was the case before, but I think since the, the Jeff Lacey fight, which really, you know, a lot of people saw me for the first time, actually, because a lot of my fights um, have been on, uh, have been on terrestrial TV, then um, I think people saw what it was all about. And I think this fight definitely caught the imagination of the public. 50,000 uh, fans in the stadium, you know, 90 countries worldwide. HBO as well also screened the fight. So um, a massive uh, platform for me on, on the weekend, and I, I feel it was a, a great fight, and I'm very proud of it. And this morning, Joe, Sir Henry Cooper, OBE, says you should be knighted just like him. And, you know, let's, let's see what you've contributed to British sport and what he contributed to British sport. If Sir Henry Cooper says you should be knighted, you kind of get the point, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice, you know, it's nice to be said, you know, but uh, uh, I'm just a fighter and at the end of the day, all I try to do is um, fight my best when I'm in the ring and... Uh, Wherever other things outside of boxing is, is very nice when, when somebody says something like that. Yeah, of course. Um, Joe, 21 defences. Who on earth is stupid enough after 21 successful defences to climb into a ring with you these days? Where do you go now for the next fight? Well, basically, I think I've achieved everything I want to achieve the super middleweight division. You know, 10 years of champion, I've collected all the major belts, I'm ring champion, and um, is, is everything I want to achieve. I don't think I could possibly do anything else at super middleweight to, to, to better what I've achieved. So I always want to see new goals. I want to fight for another 12 months. So I think that means maybe moving up to light heavyweight and hopefully fighting somebody like Bernard Hopkins, possibly in, in the States.